Think about ChatGPT on steroids. That is Zapier Central. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what is Zapier Central, what it can do for you to unlock productivity beast mode, and a quick tutorial on how I build my assistant Donna that actually does work for me. Let's dive right in. You know like how in ChatGPT can only tell you what to do? Zapier Central takes it a step forward where it can actually do the work for you. For example, you can give it your data, you can ask it to find the top customers, you can ask your bot to send that information to the Slack to your team, like finding new leads, Leads, training, getting more information on those leads, organizing your inbox, and all that stuff. You can ask it to really automate any work with just plain English. There's a whole video on how you can use this as your data analyst. I can link it over here. So you can sign in using your Zapier account. So no behavior, it just means that you're training bot on a specific task. In this case, I'm asking AI to be my executive assistant. So when you're creating a new bot, you start off by giving it some instructions. Think about this as writing a job description of what you want this new intern to do. I'm just gonna say, you are my executive assistant Donna you have access to my emails when I ask you a question go through my emails and find the information I'm asking for if you can't find it say so and don't try to make information up use the actions to find the email and summarize the answers based on the question so once you have the instructions on what you want the bot to do you can start with a trigger it's like you know saying hello to your assistant then they're gonna come to you and ask you what you want you can do this by just a certain keyword you can leave it as this you can do it when you send a message or you can choose specific tasks like, you know, an email with a keyword that you receive when a new lead come in, when a new spreadsheet updates. In this case, we will just say, whenever I message the bot, we want the AI assistant to get up off their chair and come help us with the task we need. So once you have your trigger established, you can go through over 6,000 apps to figure out what trigger do you want. You know, HubSpot, Shopify, any big name app, you name it, it's probably there. So once you have your trigger identified, you're gonna start with action. So action is basically what you want your assistant to accomplish based on the questions you're asking and the information that AI bot has. So in this case, I'm connecting my Gmail and I'm giving all the different tasks like reading emails, sending emails, sending a reply, creating draft responses. You can connect Google Calendar, your Notion. You can connect your HubSpot or your CRM if you want your AI to go ahead and do the work with those tools. It's like basically giving your assistant access to different tools and platforms your company, your business, or your workflow uses. We will just connect the Google apps and the Slack app you connect these apps like you would when you're building a new zapier automation that's pretty much it so you start with instructions you start with the trigger and you finish with the actions so let's test our ai agent here's my donna ai so i'm going to ask ai to look through my emails and find me the emails that are unread and also record my response this week and here we have an answer it gave me an email which i received today i think it did a pretty good job that was pretty much the the top email that requires my response right now and i think i passed the test okay i'm gonna ask ai to go find me the new partner leads that came in last week let's see what it gives me here's the results we're getting three leads that came in last week the data makes sense let's take it a step further so i connected my google sheets as an added action as well so i'm going to ask ai to find the company name person of contact and their emails added to a spreadsheet let's see if ai can handle this and there we go ai was able to do that for us as well a bit of a hiccup here uh, one of the emails was a docusign instead of like going through the real conversation not just a docusign email kind of picked up the wrong email so it wasn't perfect Perfect in this case but uh, i'll cut it some slack you know the tool is still an experimental phase so i'm pretty sure it will get better and i can also ask ai here send a message in the slack channel to let people know that these are the new leads to follow up with so as you can see within a few minutes we built this bot that we didn't even have to train we just connected the trigger we connected the actions we gave it an instruction and AI is already doing the work for us which i would say like i would rate the job so far based on the tasks eight out of ten like i'm docking two points just because that email wasn't perfect. I wish it had gone through the thread. This is probably gonna be a productivity game changer. Comment below what you end up building with Central so new ideas can inspire other people and we can all help each other with new ideas to automate our work. Hope this was useful. See you next time.